Hello YouTube viewers. Welcome back to miblogs.me. This is the part 2 of last video of getting free VPS. In last video I share a detailed info about how to get the free coupons for AWS Cloud and other free VPS services. If you did not watch the part 1 of this video, check it out the link or URL in the descriptions of this video. Now in this video I will teach you how to get free VPS from AWS service which not required any credit card. I already test this by myself and I have the VPS I will share the proof at the end of the video. Also this free VPS have some requirements. Requirements are You have a student card copy and Working email address, gmail etc. In last video you got the AWS Cloud Coupon of $75 now I can show you how to use it. Follow me. Follow me. Click on get your pack then log into your account which we created in last video. After login we have to go to AWS Cloud and click on request your unique link. When you click on unique link, then you will see this page. Follow all the steps. Follow all the steps. Next you will see a form fill it with exact information. At the place of email put Gmail or any other free email. And then select, click here to select an AWS Educate Starter account. Add you graduate level, and add the graduation year and month. Add future dates if you add wrong date your request will not be approved. And click on next after you fill the form next they will ask you to verify your email go to your email inbox where they send you the code for verifying after verified then you request will be sent to AWS support and after some time you will receive email like that like that. They will not approve our application because we are not registered with the email which is provided by our school or college. So they want us to contact their support and submit the copy of student card. Now I will show you how to contact them. Next we have to go to AWS support console. Go to midblocks.me and follow the steps.
Now first we have to make a account for Amazon account. Next we have to fill the form with name and password, and then click on create account. Next we have to fill the form with name and password, and then click on create account. When you click on create account next you see a payment information page. Just close it. And you need to go back to midlogs.me and click again on Amazon support. Now we have to log in. Now we have to open a ticket for support. To submit our student card copy. your request is sent. Now you have to wait at least one day. If it take more than one day then reply again to the same case, support ticket. Here I will show you that I got after one day that my account is approved. After your request is sent. Now you have to wait at least one day. If it take more than one day then reply again to the same case, support ticket. 
here I will show you that I got after one day that my account is approved. Now I will show you my account of Amazon Web Service, which I got it without any credit card and phone verification. Make sure when you start your lap then don't stop it. If you stop the lap your $75 will be deleted. When you start the lap it will be stay for one year. Enjoy your new VPS. I hope you like this video please subscribe and like our FB page. Thank you. Smile.